All new tonight at 6 o'clock. The first day of school is just a few days away, and both Midland and Ector County ISDs are still short teachers. As CBS 7's Tatum Gwynn explains, regardless of how many teachers each district is short, class must go on. Tatum? Ready or not, the first day of class is fast approaching. Now, over the past few weeks, we've been talking a lot about construction at both Ector County and Midland ISDs. However, today, we're talking teachers. Midland ISD is short about 80 teachers, while ECISD is short around 200. District officials say it's up to each campus on how they will make up for the openings. It's the final countdown to the start of the new school year. We've already started getting in bed at a decent hour and getting up earlier in the mornings. Everybody else. Parents yeah, packing carts full of school supplies. That's cute. And teachers getting their classrooms in tip top shape. Ready or not, they'll be here next Monday and we have to be on our A game. So we're getting our classrooms ready for our students as well as getting our own children ready um, and excited for the new year. District leaders are getting ready to do without, in this case, fewer teachers. ECISD is short nearly 200. District officials say the solution now is up to each campus. That could mean long-term subs or splitting classrooms between teachers. Meanwhile, in Midland, there are 80 teacher openings. The district plans to fill those positions with substitutes until a permanent teacher is hired. Rivas says no matter what, it's a team effort. It wouldn't work if we weren't a team. But we just do whatever we can to help each other out, you know, because the kids are our kids in Hector County ISD. It doesn't matter what campus you're at. Both Midland and Hector County ISDs are actively recruiting and hiring. We will be posting employment information onto our website, cbs7.com. For now, reporting live in Odessa, I'm Tatum Gwynn, CBS 7 News.